hose e do moi ke te muri de sumala shirkan o ay tunti so o gabi por ke do Allah hose al kasal en ay na bal kelsi en hayata en do Allah hose o ke do Allah hose fi enchi horan runti wa sur do ya sharaf wa no no te lo mo to ko ko to ga han wa al do o si do ka runti wa ja'al ha kan ka ha bal yeyo wa qabata da yeyo marada ka sawla de boy ka duun ee halkan maanta jooga ay ka wadaan qoroyasho dadkaa ee maayaradu halki Soomaaliya la ka dhawaatay tooba ka soo sadaxda ay shan dusarday waxaan aad ugu maadinaya xubnaha ka socday FNC ee shibxinay maalinta ah ee dhamaan maayarada ay taas soo joogay ee waqtiga uu bixinay si loo qoro baahi laha aqoonta hoggaanka sare ee uu ka duulaa hoose oo aad u duulista iyo wahadalka uu ka duulaa hoose iyo sidii uu codmiyey samuu u yeelan lahaa iyadana maanta in maayaradu ay dhaxdeeyay gobolka yigi ee tawbarkii lagu qabto oo ay ka soo baxaan qodobo muhiim iyadana farxad gaar ah weyno tahay aad iyo aad baan ugu mahad celinayna waxaan u sii wadayna balan qaadayna wada jirka yigi iyo horumarka yigi iyo isku duubnaanta yigi aan halka soo gaadhay iyo tawbarka wixii nooga soo baxay inta weyn aan horo si wadi doono aad hadaan noo anagu saarid arimaha gudaha nahay meeyarada iyo manashiyooyinka dawladaha hoose oo saarid arimaha gudaha ay hoos yimaadaan saas darteed bay waajib nagu tahay in aan la shaqeyno in aan ugu cansino in aan barbar taagnaano hawlaha ay wadaan noo ku taageerno waxaan halkan ka muujinaya aad ugu mahadnaqaya ururka dawladaha hoose ee Soomaaliland iyo meeyarada ba ee iyo dawladaha hoose gudahaanba dadaalka ay wadaan ay ku horumarinayaan degmooyinka jamhuuriyadda Soomaaliland ee waxaan kala u mahadnaqayna hoteelka Mansoor ee Burxo oo saddexda maalmood ee tababarka socday inay adeeg ugu fiican noo fidiyaan aad mooddo inay isku soo darsadeen adeegii ay ka bixi jireen hargeysa iyo barbaraba burca ay maanta cala ka usi doon cala ka qaaday marti galinti burco hoteelka Mansoor Maxamed Saciid gaxna ku telefishanka caalamiga ee Badaa soo noqnoqodkooduna waa ugu mahad celinay ee laakiin wax rajaynaya ee in ay wax walba si wanaagsan u dhici doonaan ka wasaarad ahaan anagu waxaan u qabid ahayn dadkii waqtiga dambe ku soo biiray waayo wasaaradda xilka golayaasha ay arrimaha dastuurka ee intii madaxweynahan cusub ee wadanka qabsaday ayaa lagu soo daray sidaa daraadeed waxa kale oo la hoos keenay hay'adda ee dibo habaynta shuruucda law firm commission ee sidaa daraadeed waxaan isla leenahay waxa tihiin wasaaradda maanta ugu hawl badan ugu mudnaan badan xaga hawshan inuu gacanta ku haynno waxaan kala oo rajaynaya ee markaan ka hadlay mudan la harmonization and the law reform legal research drafting law review and reform especially outdated laws legal advocacy and promoting rights civic education program on somaliland constitution capacity building and legal training constitutional reform initiative initiatives development and uh and drafting laws ee si kastaba ha ahaatee waxaan isla yahay maadaama intii nidib ay ogtii kan qayb qaadatay dalkan in la doonayo sanadkan 2020 inuu inuu galo ee doorashooyinkii baarlamaanka iyo ku wii golaha deegaanka anaga ka wasaaradahan maadaama nahay wasaarada xilka golayaasha ay arrimaha dastuurka door weyn oo muhiim ah aan ku yeelanayna iyo hawlku talagalkeedu ka balaadhan yahay sidii aanu markii hore qorsheeynay waxaan rajaynayna guud ahaan qaranimo iyo gaar ahaan wasaaradda hayd baynaad shuntii wax nagala qaban doontaan arintaas aad iyo aad noo mahadsantiin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullaahi wasiirka dastuurka iyo xilka golayaasha xiraaliyaha guud wasiirka cadaaladda xiraaliyaha guud sanadada immigration ka bulshada iyo asluubta Ambassadorka EU Nicholas Berlaga iyo ambassadorka Sweden Stefan Peter Stefan Stefan 
Philander, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, Simon uh, Unsoma, Mohamed uh, Mohamed Barud, Madhahda Kareya Chokta, Edwina Kasoka Yagalai, Yamudan Taba, Salam Alaikum Rahmatullahi wa Barakatu. Nagbar Khatu Manu Khan Gorena, Manta, Shiskan, Alkan Lukala Sahanayo, Wahanadia, Dubhan Raya, Lavada Safir, EU, the EU, Sweden. إلان تي شوجين ومركي صدحات عن قصة قريب قالوا حفلة ما وحروق خلاص يا حنيه مشروع لو خلاص يا حنيه أما مدلو ده فريو هذه أدوان وبهان تغني فحين نوم وقتا إن هذه هذا الوين كجي سنين وده كان بهدي سيسيد هرو مركي سأي قريب وقت جي سن هاي وأنا مذا نروح السوسان إنه نروح نهاي إن شاء الله هنا وحن شاء الله مستقبل كنا يعني سی کردیان و سی در درگیریان. و حالا تا هوا شمانت حال کن مشروع عن سه حیص و کرد عیو و مشروع عادی از نوگو بهانی های قرن کنن نوگو بهانی های شعب اهان لو بهانی های قانت دنای نکوی ارتحی لون بهانی های نودمان تن هر راهی نکت هنگ نو و نکو و دقیق قانو کت هستن نو کسوج به جوینیا عادی از نو ماتن تین و سلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکات. Maybe you recall the workshop where you had, you were leading and there were police, both female and male police present and there was discussions about the need to reform the police service and strengthen it. And uh, Safar knows this well because he was there uh, working to, 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 to arrange this and work with the government to set it up. Uh, and the UN has played a very important role in this from the beginning. Also then when the justice and corrections workshop happened a few months after that. So it's two years ago that this started and now there is a comprehensive rule of law program. And this is very important for several reasons. One is that it's easier for us as partners to support a, a program like this where we have a clear government lead and where the whole of the UN is involved in an integrated manner and we as partners can support the program as a whole, not specific individual things, but rather a comprehensive long-term program. And this is how it should be and it's particularly important in the area of rule of law because security in any country depends very much on the whole rule of law chain. The police courts, corrections, and overall the principles of human rights and respecting the principles of human rights. And I won't go into any more of that. Ministers have spoken already about the importance of this. But the significance of this, this year in Somaliland with the elections 2020 is considerable because Somaliland will show both a starting point for a rule of law reform program and parliamentary election 2020. And this is a very important uh, illustration of progress and democracy and how peaceful uh, coexistence and security can be ensured. And uh, I think maybe in other areas as well, it may be useful to look towards the possibility of comprehensive programs like this, maybe in the maritime area where Sweden is engaged with some support through EU CAP and the European Union supports to the Coast Guard. And uh, maybe this is an area where the UN, together with EU CAP and European Union, can work with the government to see how, how one can get a comprehensive. Uh, and we are very happy to do this together with the European Union and Ambassador Nicolas Pelanga. Uh, we are a member of the European Union, so we are working through different channels to support this program. But it's also a sign of the importance the Euro European Union attaches to to rule of law. But let me also say how important and the, the role of the UN and the integrated UN team has been in this work. And I think uh, as Sweden we are very proud always to work with the UN. It's a strong su support for us globally and, and in our work. And we're also happy to have Police uh, Tommy here working with the UN. We had previously Liban uh, Sharif working with corrections. 
And we are very happy that we are part of the UN and we are very happy that the UN is providing a strong support to Somaliland through this program and other means. So thanks Simon for your leadership on this and thanks to the UN for your coordinated one UN approach to continue to support Somaliland on this. Thank you. Uh, the Attorney General, uh, Your Excellency's Ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I stand up now and I feel a little bit like the student who has not done his homework. Um, the, in, the, in their introductory remarks, the Attorney General gave a very comprehensive uh, background to the development of this uh, program, uh, which the, the Swedish Ambassador shaded in the additional detail. Um, the Minister of Justice also spoke uh, about the, the importance of the program and then again the, 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 His Excellency the Swedish Ambassador added uh, comments on the, the, what we hope will be the benefit of an integrated UN approach. It draws together not only the United Nations Development Program, also UN Women, the United Nations Office of uh, Drugs and Crime, um, United Nations Children's Fund and also my own organization UNSOM. So when I say that I stand uh, in front of you uh, rather like the, 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 the uh, mischievous student who has not done his homework, basically everybody who has spoken has basically said what I would have said. So let me uh, perhaps just look forward uh, with a couple of brief comments. Um, the breadth of cooperation amongst the different ministries of the government of Somaliland, uh, the commitment of the international community reflected by the contributions from the European Union and from Sweden, uh, underlines the importance and the relevance of this. The challenge now uh, for us in supporting uh, the government, its ministries, its commissions, its professional staff, is to now just get on with it. We've had ample time to plan, we've had ample time to discuss, and as the, minister, as the Attorney General said in his opening remarks, uh, it's now time to, to turn to action. We look forward to working with you, we look forward to working closely uh, with the government, we look forward to keeping uh, the, the, the Embassy of Sweden and the, the Office of the European Union informed as to, as to progress. Um, we appreciate that uh, not only do the institutions of Somaliland, of the European Union and of Sweden have high expectations, but also do the public, uh, or the, the, the population of Somaliland and the taxpayers of the European Union and of Sweden have uh, very reasonably high expectations that uh, this project should make something different, uh, should make a change, should answer the question why did we do this? We look forward to working with all of the partners around the table here today um, and we look forward to getting on with that now. With that, we would thank the two uh, contributing governments or Government of Sweden and the European Union. We would thank them for their financial support and we look forward to acting with them and with the government on this. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm really happy to have all of you uh, here this morning and uh, that allows me to, to at least share with you one idea that I think it is very important, which is please do not look at this intervention just as a list of gifts, as a list of Christmas gifts. And I, I, I know that the Minister Kahim very soon will come with a list saying, we need that, we need that. <laughs> please think more strategically. Of course, there should be a list of, of uh, things to reinforce the capacities. But there should also be this idea that my colleagues have already reiterated of working together, you working together, and us supporting you working together for the benefits of your citizens, for the benefits of, of the uh, people of Somaliland. Uh, Christmas, Kalaskusio, 
وایو حیری و نوک نه اینو چرا باهیا قرن و لیس آه ولسو سرت کس سوکت بسنتی باهیا هست قرن و حمید دوری نه بدلو و مشروع عن لاقع تو اینو نقض مید حوشیه اسکاش یعنی نقد حیا سی دولت دو ایوت های گرتو شعب که ریس مالان موادین تر ریس مالان و آه تو کف فایده سنی مشروع عن لوگو تلاگل. And please do not look at this project that we are signing today as a stand-alone intervention. You know, all the partners around the table, we have been with you for the last 25 years, and we have the, the willingness and the, the engagement to be with you for another at least 25 more years. So this is only a step. Let's do it well. But let's keep it this global idea that we are uh, working a long way together. Mashuru Anna, Yan Loka, and you know, hey, Tiger the Kelly, Middle Europe, I see, and the Lutz of Melan, like he see, Shani Latin, he's a new to be a Middle Europe, Garab Tagna, or Berber Tagna, or Lissi, Somalan, Hanna, Nagokoan, and then one of Shani Latin Kalos also, and then I am Garab Tagna. لكن سيان لو قادم تاجر هذا إني إني كوكوبان تاي تاجر هذا مدو بيورو مشروع عن كلي إني كوكوبان تاي إن تاوي كابل لادن تاي وحين كوكوتن تاه إسكاشي لبدا دينا عود حياة أو يوم الدون كا عود حياة. We we have a a very sincere and open and frank dialogue with the government and with the civil society of Somaliland. And we look at the things in this comprehensive idea. And I, I cannot avoid mentioning that for this year, there is this engagement of the elections. And this project may contribute to that. As the project, the Ministry of Planning and myself, we signed uh, on Saturday with the civil society or, or many other activities that we are developing these days. It's this idea of working together for the benefit, for the benefit of your citizens. سفیر کو حاوی پروژیه مهم دایله دهی وده شقین وده شقین هست و کسب بلامتی وده شقین کسب بلامتی وده حاشود یه دوره کسب هست سید لوا وده شقین لحه و مشاریع دن میدویی رو بیفول نیا لوا وده شقین لحه سید و خاله و سفیر کو عوض تک حرقی مهم دای و مشروع عنوله یه دهی سمالن و یه دوره شوی به سمالن یه تاجر دن میدویی رو بو سید دوره سمالن مشاريع ده كل الدول سوى تسالوس وقعتي وسير كقرشين تا مشروع عيوة الصحيحين وكل سعب سنة تاجيرة ده ورودة برشيدة سمالة دمان مشاريع ده سي وحقيقة قادنا ايا سي او حوشيا وضع الشقين تي يسكاح شكر ده حيا دولة سمالة يميدو بيورو So please be sure that we will be close to you in the next month, in the next year to your services, and we will put all of our strength as EU, as EU member states, as EU CAP, uh, as others, will put all this together really to work with you, with all of you in your institution, uh, again to develop this vision about Somaliland. Thank you very much. هاي ده هي ذكرى الدودون أي ولا شقين لهاي ميد ولا با با هي هي يو يو حقبت كيدوني أنا يو قرب استاجي لهاي. Thank you. ما خسرني. لبعض السفيرة باستر ميدو كي يوروب يسافر كدل كي سويدن هاي العالية هجود نروح ده هاي ده. ان سوم وكوا كيلا تمايد تقول ما كده حسي هاي ال UNDP تم أو آه سركال كا إن جلاش قيا أهمها إذا ما ده بليس كيو إذا ما ده كلابا جنرال الله ده تلياش إذا ما ده قدومي هاي ده حقوق الإنسان كا ما وزارة داخل الشركة الفردية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I would like first of all to thank for the two ambassadors, ambassador of the EU, European Union, and ambassador of the Swiss government, who 
very much work with the Somaliland government and who were participating in many events of developmental programs in the Somaliland government. In this occasion, we are signing today this project of the rule of law and as the ministers and the two ambassadors said, this is the base of the governance of Somaliland and anywhere in the world. If you have a security, then you will have a good governance working in every area. As you know, the two ambassadors are not new to uh, Somaliland affairs, is that the Somaliland government, it spends almost 40% of its budget with the security org organs of Somaliland. And as they say, where there is water, there is life. Where there is security, there is an working institutions of the government. And in our location as Somaliland government, we share borders with Djibouti, with Ethiopia, and with Somalia. And we have almost something like 850 kilometers of coast. Coastline. Of coastline. We are facing mainly the Gulf of Aden, the main area that we have got that border of the coast is the Yemen. And we know the term is going, what's going on in, in, in Yemen. All terrorist activities, they come to Yemen. We are sure the border of Ethiopia and Somalia, which is close to Somaliland and Ethiopia, which is close to 1,000 kilometers. And we have something the same, almost border with Somalia, with the member um, the state of, of Somalia, Puntland. We have working with the Ethiopian government in terms of the security. Our security organs are working together. The police of Ethiopia is working with our police, the immigration, the national army. We have got a constant meetings and we are working together. But we don't have any partner with the Somali government. And the area the effort and the operations and the management and the basis of the terrorists is mainly concentrated in Somalia. It's about 40 kilometers from Pasaso, so we always get penetration of these terrorists from that area. I think for the last um, month or two months, we have so many um, deadly um, operations and members of the Al-Shabaab that our police force and the immigration force, they succeeded to, to capture these um, this, uh, terrorist groups. We have also something close to 100 cases of, um, of, um, of terrorist activities in which our judicial organist, uh, Antony General and the, um, and the courts have already sentenced them here in the Somaliland um, prisons. Now, we get support for the, our police. We may not list, give a good, a, a long list, <laughs> but it's very important to note that um, in the terrorist activities, there was only the UK government who was supporting the city UK uh, terrorist, counter terrorist unit, and the two terrorist um, um, units of the RRU and the SPU. So the support of the UK government is going to be finished by 31st March of this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of this year. So I think it is, it is ambassador. It's waiting the EU member states, including the EU ambassador, in order to substitute the aid of the UK government for the terrorist unities of Somalia. <laughs> and I think, as I have said, this long border with Ethiopia and with Somalia, in which you know and you came from Mogadishu, how deadly movement is of the terrorists is going on in Somalia, is that we were for a long time asking for the European Union and non-member states of the EU to have Somaliland an expansion of the uh, SBU 
and the RRU. It's very important for the time being. And I think we will discuss and we will submit our list <laughs> and our requirements <laughs> after we sign this ceremony. But I will only say uh, this is a very comprehensive um, project in which all members of the security forces, the Minister of Justice, um, I'm sorry to say that the, um, the Chief Justice was not present and he sent us a message that he was busy with um, something very busy with the courts. So the courts, the human rights, the Minister of um, Parliamentary and Judicial Affairs of Somaliland, and the Minister of Interior, this is a comprehensive project in which it is involved in all institutions and government ministries and security forces in which we are work, working with the security. And the Somaliland government, as the ambassador said, was working with the United Nations and with the, with the European Union for the last 25, 27 years. And we will remain that we are working with the standards of these organizations. But we have to know one thing, that until such time, we reinforce the security of Somaliland. It will be very difficult to overcome the activities of the terrorism activities. Mm -hmm. We thank very much um, for this project. We believe that it will do a lot for the, um, for the concerning organizations and the judiciary organ, that it will do something about the development and the sustainability of the security of the country. We we'll thank you very much, and especially for the Swedish government in supporting with the EU CAP with our Coastal Guard. But still, we remain asking that the Coastal Guard is, and it is small boats, it will be very, very, very difficult for them to operate from the border of Djibouti almost to Bosasa. We've got eight kilometers from Bosasa, our border, to Djibouti. So now we, are, we have, I think, um, something like close to 20 boats carrying ammunition and guns who have captured them in the coast. Yeah. So, I, we thank you very much. Um, you know the minister, what he said. Um, if the baby is delayed by in born, sometimes in, 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 in the Somali culture we have a woman which is going to have pregnant for 12 months, for 15 months. <laughs> <laughs> for, for the normal circumstances of a baby burning in, in, in this time, we have a, a ceremony. <laughs> but when the baby is delayed, we have two ceremonies. <laughs> so the minister said that this project has been delayed for two years. So now we need two sermons. <laughs> <laughs> we thank very much. And we work closely work with the Minister of National Planning for the coordination of these projects. We'll be working with your organization, Simon, the UNSOM, the UNDB, and we will remain working with them. So this organization, including the Human Rights Commission, um, they are working together. We have got a very big, big um, training with the police, rank and file, with the immigration, and with the human rights. And we are trying to um, keep the sustainability of this training in order to train our young officers. Um, for learning them about the issues of the human rights. Now we are in the process of developing the women in the police. We have got a very good number, including officers. So we are now um, going to deploy them in the different departments of the police. So this deployment of the bills, I think we need an special um, approach 
for enhancing their training and their program so that they could be, uh, now they are within the forest, but we want to uh, strengthen them, the women activity in the forest. We are now training cadet officers of the police and the army in the um, army academy. They are doing very, 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 very good, um, including and also in this activity of the anti-terrorist organs, the Department of the Immigration needs to be reinforced in immigration posts, in equipment and so on. Now they have got almost um, a good number of immigration posts. So um, one thing I think I will conclude with one thing is that Berbera in history was a very long, in a very long time was a hub in human trafficking <coughs> in the about 200, 300, 400 years. So we have this problem of human trafficking within the borders of the neighbor countries. So that's why we need that to enforce the immigration department, that the immigration department. We thank you very much for the support and personally for the two ambassadors that are very closely working with the Somaliland government. They are giving a very, spending a very, 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 very um, good time of their time in Somaliland, in the Coastal Guard, in the immigration, in the Minister of Justice, Coastal uh, Custodial Guard, Minister of Interior with the Tis Minister and Police Forces will be working with you and we thank you very much. Laya yi a haid marki labadha had dinna a yi hargi sa ku kala sihih dhenna. Mashru u ku saab sana danka, mashari u ku saab sana dinna a tariq da qaddimiga ah e dalhiska. Muzika